Thassos or Thassos is a Greek island, geographically part of the North Aegean Sea, but administratively part of the Kavala regional unit. It is the northernmost Greek island, and twelfth largest by area. Thassos is also the name of the largest town of the island, situated at the northern side, opposite the mainland and about 10 kilometers from Kerimati. Thassos Island is a known from the ancient times for its termi making it a climatic and balneoclimateric climateric resort area. Thassos' economy relies on timber, marble extraction, olive oil and honey. Tourism has also become important since the 1960s, although not to the level of other Greek islands. History Prehistory lying close to the coast of eastern Macedonia, Thassos was inhabited from the Paleolithic period onwards. But the earliest settlement to have been explored in detail is that at Limon area, where remains from the Middle and Late Neolithic relate closely to those found at the mainland's drama plain. In contrast, early Bronze Age remains on the island align it with the Aegean culture of the Cyclades and Sporadis. To the south, at Scala Sotiros for example, a small settlement was encircled by a strongly built defensive wall. Even earlier activity is demonstrated by the presence of large pieces of megalithic anthropomorphic stelae built into these walls, which, so far, have no parallels in the Aegean area. There is then a gap in the archaeological record until the end of the Bronze Age c. 1100 BC, when the first burials took place at the large cemetery of Castri in the interior of the island. Here built tombs covered with small mound of earth were typical until the end of the Iron Age. In the earliest tombs were a small number of locally imitated Mycenaean pottery vessels. But the majority of the handmade pottery with incised decoration reflects connections eastwards with Thrace and beyond. Antiquity The island was colonized at an early date by Phoenicians, attracted probably by its gold mines. They founded a temple to the god Melkut, whom the Greeks identified as Tyrian Heracles, and whose cult was merged with Heracles in the course of the island's Hellenization. The temple still existed in the time of Herodotus. An eponymous Thassos, son of Phoenix, was said to have been the leader of the Phoenicians, and to have given his name to the island. Around 650 BC, or a little earlier, Greeks from Paros founded a colony on Thassos. A generation or so later, the poet Archilochus, a descendant of these colonists, wrote of casting away his shield during a minor war against an indigenous Thracian tribe, the Saeans. Thasian power, and sources of its wealth, extended to the mainland, where the Thasians owned gold mines even more valuable than those of the island. The combined annual revenues amounted to between 200 and 300 talents. Herodotus says that the best mines on the island were those opened by the Phoenicians on the east side of the island, facing Samoth Thrace. Archilochus described Thassos as an ass's backbone crowned with wild wood. The island's capital, Thassos, had two harbours. Besides its gold mines, the wine, nuts and marble of Thassos were well known in antiquity. Thasian wine was quite famous. Thasian coins had the head of the wine god Dionysos on one side and bunches of grape of the other. Thassos was important during the Ionian revolt against Persia. After the capture of Miletus Hysterius, the Ionian leader, laid siege. The attack failed, but, warned by the danger, the Thasians employed their revenues to build warships and strengthen their fortifications. This excited the suspicions of the Persians, and Darius compelled them to surrender their ships and pull down their walls. After the defeat of Xerxes the Thasians joined the Delian Confederacy, but afterwards, on account of a difference about the mines and marts on the mainland, they revolted. The Athenians defeated them by sea, and, after a siege that lasted more than two years, took the capital, Thassos, probably in 463 BC, and compelled the Thasians to destroy their walls, surrender their ships, pay an indemnitian an annual contribution, and resign their possessions on the mainland. In 411 BC, at the time of the oligarchical revolution at Athens, 
Thasos again revolted from Athens and received a Lacedaemonian governor, but in 407 BC the partisans of Lacedaemon were expelled, and the Athenians under Thrasybulus were admitted. After the Battle of Agospotami, Thasos again fell into the hands of the Lacedaemonians under Lysander who formed a Dicarchy there, but the Athenians must have recovered it for it formed one of the subjects of dispute between them and Philip II of Macedonia. In the embroilment between Philip V of Macedonia and the Romans, Thassos submitted to Philip, but received its freedom at the hands of the Romans after the Battle of Cynoscephali, and it was still a free state in the time of Pliny. Byzantine era Thassos was part of the Eastern Roman Empire, now known as the Byzantine Empire, from 395 on. According to the 6th century Synecdemus, it belonged to the province of Macedonia Prima, although the 10th century Dithematibus claims that it was part of Thracia. The island was a major source of marble until the disruption of the Slavic invasions in the late 6th-7th centuries and several churches from late antiquity have been found on it. The island remained in Byzantine hands for most of the Middle Ages. It functioned as a naval base in the 13th century, under its own due, and came briefly under the rule of the Genos at Edicio Zakaria in 1307-13. Returning to Byzantine control, its bishopric was raised to an archdiocese by Manuel II Paleologos. Thassos was captured by the Genos of Gatalusi family California, 1434, who surrendered it to the Ottoman Empire in 1455, following the Ottoman conquest of the despotate of the Moria in 1460. The former despot Demetrius Paleologos received lands on the island. It is related that the Byzantine Greek Saint Joannesius the Great in one of his miracles freed the island of Thassos from a multitude of snakes. Ottoman era Thassos was incorporated into the Ottoman Empire in 1456. Under the Ottoman rule, the island was known as Ottoman Turkish, Tassos. Between 1770 and 1774, the island was briefly occupied by a Russian fleet. By this time the population of Thassos had gravitated to the inland villages as a protective measure. Nearly 50 years later, a revolt against Ottoman rule arose in 1821, at the outbreak of the Greek War of Independence, led by Hatsa Georgius Vataxis. But it failed. The island was given by the Sultan Mahmud II to Muhammad Ali of Egypt as a personal fiefdom in the late 1820s. As a reward for Egyptian intervention in the War of Greek Independence, Egyptian rule was relatively benign and the island became prosperous, until 1908, when the new Turk regime asserted Turkish control. The island was a kaza, lastly of the Sanjak of Drama in the Salonika Vilaye, until the Balkan Wars. On 20 October 1912 during the First Balkan War, a Greek naval detachment freed Thassos from the Ottomans and it became part of Greece. From the day it was reunited with Greece, it has remained so ever since. Archaeological discovery on 23 November 1902 issue of the New York Times, it was reported that on the island of Thassos, Archaeologist Theodore Bent discovered the tomb of Cassius, the one who slew himself after the disastrous defeat of the Battle of Philippi in 42 BC. Cassius was buried by Brutus at Thassos, where the army of the Patriots of the Republic had established its base of supplies. Modern era The writer Vasilis Vasilikos, famous for his novel Z, which was later adapted into an Academy Award-winning film was born in Thassos in 1934. He later became Director General of Greek Public Television, and Greece's ambassador to UNESCO. During the Axis occupation Thakos, along with the region of East Macedonia and Thrace, was assigned by the Nazis to their Bulgarian allies. The Bulgarian government renamed the island Tarsos and closed its schools. Thassos' mountainous terrain facilitated resistance activity against the occupation forces, mainly led by the left-wing National Liberation Front. 
After the end of the war and the withdrawal of Axis troops in 1944, the island was caught up in the Greek Civil War. The leader of the communist naval forces in the Civil War, Sarantis Spintsos, was a native of Thassos. Skirmishes and communist guerrilla attacks continued on Thassos until 1950, almost a year after the main hostilities were over on the mainland. In the post-war decades, another native of Thassos, Kostas Simas, was to attain national recognition, a friend of Prime Minister Andreas Papandreou. He was appointed director of the National Intelligence Service, the first civilian to hold that post. Thassos, the capital, is now informally known as Limnase, or the port. It is served by a ferry route to and from Karamoti Airport close to Kavala International Airport and has the shortest possible crossing to the island. Scala Prinos, 20 kilometers south of Thassos town, is served by a ferry route to and from Kavala. Administration Thassos is a separate regional unit of the East Macedonia and Thrace region, and the only municipality of the regional unit. As a part of the 2011 Kalakritis government reform, the regional unit Thassos was created out of part of the former Kavala prefecture. The municipality, unchanged at the Kalakritis reform, includes a few uninhabited islets besides the main island Thassos. The province of Thassos was one of the provinces of the Kavala prefecture. It had the same territory as the present municipality. It was abolished in 2006. Geography. Thassos Island is located in the northern Aegean Sea approximately 7 km from the northern mainland and 20 km southeast of Kavala, and is of generally rounded shape, without deep bays or significant peninsulas. The terrain is mountainous but not particularly rugged, rising gradually from coast to center. The highest peak is Ipsario, at 1,205 meters, somewhat east of center. Pine forest covers much of the island's eastern slopes. Historically, the island's population was chiefly engaged in agriculture and stock breeding, and established villages inland some of them connected via stairways to harbors at the shore. The local population gradually migrated towards these shoreline settlements as tourism began to develop as an important source of income. Thus there are several paired villages, such as Mary and Scarlet Marie's, with the former inland and the latter on the coast. Geology, the island is formed mainly by gneisses, schists and marbles of the Rodopi Massif. Marble sequences corresponding to the phalacron marbles intercalated by schists and gneisses are up to 500 meters thick and are separated from the underlying gneisses by a transition zone about 300 meters thick termed the T-zone consisting of alternances of dolomitic and calcitic marbles intercalated by schists and gneisses. The rocks have undergone several periods of regional metamorphism to at least upper amphibolite facies and there was a subsequent phase of retrograde metamorphism. At least three periods of regional deformation have been identified, the most important being large-scale isoclinal folding with axes aligned northwest. The T-zone is deformed and is interpreted by some authors as a regional thrust of pre-major folding age. There are two major high-angle fault systems aligned northwest and northeast respectively. A large low-angle thrust cuts the nice, schist and marble sequence at the southwest corner of the island, probably indicating an overthrusting of the Serbo-Macedonian massif onto the Rodopi massif. The late Miocene oil-producing Nestos Prinos basin is located between Thassos Island and the mainland. The floor of the basin is around 1,500 meters deep off the Thassos coast and up to 4.000 minus 5.000 meters in the axial sector between Thassos and the mainland. The basin is filled with late Miocene-Pliocene sediments, including ubiquitously repeated evaporite layers of rock salt and anhydrite dolomite that alternate with sandstones, conglomerates, black shales and uriniferous coal measures. Stratigraphically equivalent rocks on the mainland are clastic sediments with coal beds, marine to brackish fluvial units and travertinous. 
Mining history The earliest mining on the island has been dated to around 13,000 BC, when Paleolithic miners dug a shaft at the site of the modern era Zine's iron mine for the extraction of limonitic ochre. Mining for base and precious metals started around the 7th century BC with the Phoenicians, followed in the 4th century by the Greeks, then the Romans. These later mines were both open cast and underground, mostly to exploit the island's numerous cast hosted calamine deposits for their lead and silver. Gold, copper, and iron were also found. The Byzantines quarried marble on the island. In the early 20th century, mining companies exploited the island's zinc lead rich calamine ores with a yield of around 2 million tons and a processing plant at Liminaria produced zinc oxide. Iron ore was mined on a significant scale from 1954 to 1964, with a yield of around 3 million tons. Since 1964, surveys have established the existence of a deep level zinc lead deposit, but the only mining activity on the island has been marble quarrying. Lead zinc mine at Celada, Iron mine of Copenada. Gold mine, iron mine at Zines, with Paleolithic mine tunnel, ancient marble quarries of Aliki. Economy, by far the most important economic activity is tourism. The main agricultural products on the island are honey, almonds, walnuts, olives, and olive oil, as well as wine, sheep, goat herding, and fishing. Other industries are lumber and mining which includes lead, zinc, and marble, especially in the Panagia area where one of the mountains near the Thracian Sea has a large marble quarry. The marble quarries in the south, now abandoned, were mined during ancient times. Communities, towns and villages with over 100 inhabitants are Ias Georgios, Astris, Calarachi, Kinira, Liminaria, Maris, Ormos Pranau, Panagia, Potamia, Potos, Prinos, Rachoni, Scala Calarachis, Scala Marian, Scala Rachonio, Sotirus, Thassos, Theologos, Historical Population, Beaches, Scala Prinos, with lots of pines, lying at a several kilometers length. This wonderful beach is ideal for swimming, clean and sandy. In 2004 it became a blue flag beach. Parches, with clear water and lots of visitors. Rachoni, Long Beach with the forest. Gliada, with golden sand and shallow sea. Scala Potamia and Golden Beach, one of the most clean beaches on the island. Also has a camping site, lots of restaurants, bars and nightclubs. Geola is a natural swimming pool with crystal clear turquoise waters. Geola is located in the village of Astras, a few kilometers from Liminaria and Potos, on the south side of the island. Saliara, with white sand. Paradise, Paradise Beach is approximately 23 kilometers from Thassos town via the coastal road that circles the island. Although not signposted itself there is a signpost for the Paradise Bar on the beach which is visible from the anti-clockwise direction. There is space for a few cars by the main road. Metalia Beach Thassos Metalia Beach is situated on the foot of a villa at Liminaria. It is a fine sandy beach ideal for children and lies 39 kilometers southwest of Limnes, the capital of Thassos. Glicardi Beach Thassos, just 4.5 kilometers northwest of Port Thassos Beach is Glicardi. Overlooking Thassopola, this sandy beach of 150 meters with the blue waters offers relaxation in a lush natural environment. It is organized into umbrellas and sunbeds from a beach bar but no other infrastructure. Sites Archaeological Museum Thassos in Thassos Town Polygnotos Vagus Municipal Museum in Potamia Folklore Museum of Liminaria, Archangel Michael's Monastery, St. Pantalimon Monastery. It was built in 1843 and became monastery in 1987. According to inhabitants of Thakos, someone wanted to build it in favor of St. Pantalimon. The workers started the building at a location, but next day when they wanted to continue with the construction, 
The part they had built was destroyed and their tools were missing. It had happened on following days. One day they saw footprints on the ground and followed him until they founded their tools. Finally they built the monastery at that spot. Monastery of the Assumption. Castro. Its foundation year is unknown. This village must have been created during the years of Frankish domination. Crambusser Isle. It can be found across the coast of Scala Potamia. The thick vegetation make it impossible to explore all parts of it. It is full with special wild vegetable called Cramby. The little church of St. Daniel is located at the top of the hill. The inhabitants visit this church on the Day of the Saint every year. Notable people, Archilochos, warrior and poet, you led us a thousand strong at Thacos, fields fattened by corpses, Iglerophon, painter, teacher and father of Polygnotus and Aristophan, Egemon of Thassos, comedian, inventor of parody, Leo de Mass, mathematician, Nessius of Thacos, painter, Polygnotus Vagis, Thassos born U.S. sculptor, Polygnotus, painter, Stesimbrotos, sophist, Theogenes of Thassos, Olympic boxer, Pancratiastin runner, Vasilis Vasilikos, poet and author, Demetrius Vasiliades, Indologist scholar and author.